morning. Today is Thursday, April 27th. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. F day. I'm Kelsey Barron. And I'm Lee McManus. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. Please check to see what community service opportunities are available on our website. Deadlines for some opportunities are approaching, so it is important that everyone keeps an eye on the list as it continues to be updated. There are 37 days until graduation. That's a scary thought. Attention all students and faculty, today is Poem in Your Pocket Day. Every April, the Academy of American Poets celebrates the National Poetry Month by sponsoring Poem in Your Pocket Day. People celebrate by selecting a poem, carrying it with them, and sharing it with others throughout the day at schools, libraries, workplaces, and on social media using the hashtag, hashtag pocket poem. Go for it. And A Push Review will continue today until 4 in room 100. Prom forms are due to Miss K on Monday. You must go to the office to pick your table and bus. And please make sure to sign up for the color run on May 13th. See Student Council for any details I'm, or questions. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Make sure you're all there. Definitely. In world and local news, today is National Take Your Children to Work Day. This holiday is recognized on the fourth Thursday in April each year. This annual event is an educational program in the United States and Canada where parents take their children to work with them for one day. It is the successor to Take Our Daughters to Work Day, which in 2003 was expanded to include boys. Most companies allowed both girls and boys to participate since the beginning, renaming the day Take Our Children to Work Day. Well, then we shouldn't be in school. Oops. <laughs> President Donald Trump on Wednesday told the leaders of Mexico and Canada that he will not pull out of the North American Free Trade Agreement, just hours after administration officials said he was considering a draft executive order to do just that. President Donald Trump agreed not to terminate NAFTA at this time, and the leaders agreed the leaders agreed to proceed swiftly, according to their required internal procedures, to enable the rene renegotiation of the NAFTA deal to the benefit of all three countries, said the White House. Trump said he believes the end result will make all three countries stronger and better. The Air Force is inviting vetted computer security specialists from across the U.S. and select partner nations to do their best to hack some of its key public websites. The initiative is part of the Cyber Secure Campaign as a measure to further operationalize the dom domain and leverage talent from both within and outside the Department of Defense. This outside approach, drawing on the talent and expertise of our citizens and partner nation citizens in identifying our security vulnerabilities, will help bolster, bolster our cyber security, said Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein. And now over to sports with Mirage. Good, well, good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Raj Patel with your sports. In the NBA, the Wizards beat the Hawks 103-99. John Wall had 20 points and 14 assists. The Wizards lead the series 3-2. And the Celtics beat the Hawks 108-97. Al Horford had 21 points, 7 rebounds, and 9 assists. The Celtics now lead the series 3-2 after being down by two games. In the NHL, the Predators beat the Blues in their first game of the series 4-3. And the Oilers beat the Ducks 5-3. And in softball, they beat Harvey yesterday, 16 to three. Jessica Link had was uh, four of five from the bat, three runs scored, two stolen bases, and five RBIs. Lexi Suarez had 13 strikes. And in the major leagues, the Yankees beat the Red Sox three to one, and the Braves beat the Mets uh, eight to two. In varsity boys lacrosse, they have their Farrell game, which is Saturday at Farrell, so make sure you're there for that. And well, that's all for sports. Back over to the anchors. Thanks, Mirage. Well, I'm Lee McManus. And I'm Kelsey Barron. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.